He's developed a new technique to treat infertility in men. He told IBA Sheila Zucker about his findings and noted that he's received an unusual invitation to visit the Islamic Shiite Republic of Iran. So we're talking and about revolutionary. This technique, uh, it's a new development by which we can detect and treat the most about around 85% of the male, of the infertile men. 85% of, of infertility in men is a massive percentage. 85% of infertile men suffer, suffers from impaired testicular drainage system. And we know how to detect it. It's a very complex system. We know how to detect it and how to treat it. I, I don't want to make light of this, but I would assume that every male listening to this is immediately crossing his legs and saying, don't hurt me. It's not painful. It's without anesthesia. It takes very short time of treatment. It's about around uh, an hour and an hour and a half. And it works. And, and it works. And after 15 minutes, another 15 minutes of rest, the patient can go home. And after 24 hours, 40, 48 hours, to full activity, including sexual activity. It's a very difficult thing to go through, wanting to become pregnant and not being able to become pregnant. What words of encouragement do you have for couples? I would like to take advantage of this program to, to encourage the men, the all infertile men, to examine themselves. And because the treatment and the method that we developed in the in last years, the gut goron development the method, it's uh, very easy to treat and very um, unpainful and with a lot of success rate. It's about 85% of success rate of the treatment. Has any other Israeli doctor ever been invited to Iran before? Yes, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Do you think there's a chance that you will go? Uh, well, we consider it. And we'll have to discuss with the, with the authorities. The powers that be. But actually, you know that medicine sometimes a bridge between political tension. So maybe it's a start of sort of a medical politics. Dr. Yigal Gad, I thank you for being with us. And I'm sure there are many couples out there that are saying, thank you, Dr. Gott, for thank what you you've do. done. Thank you very much.